A groundbreaking survey and a report on Nigeria's expanding middle class reveals a nation that's optimistic about economic growth, that values entrepreneurship, and is positioned to capitalize on a boom in consumption. Mashuru Masuta spoke to Yvonne Mwanga earlier on. She's the sub-Saharan economist at Renaissance Capital about the findings of the survey. Following our field survey, we found that the middle class, which makes up around 20% of the uh, uh, population, which if you consider 160 people, is quite substantial. So we're talking about millions of uh, uh, middle class or people in middle class households in the case of Nigeria. They are well educated. Um, most of them work for the public sector. Of those in the private sector, around two out of five of them own their own businesses. Their primary concerns include uh, unemployment as well as the power situation which wasn't a surprise but in terms of just the sheer numbers we think Nigeria is in a strong position as a middle class uh, or to have a middle class um, economy. Now the middle class has been largely debt free because banks for the longest time have did not always allow uh, loans given the identification issues and unemployment like you said a little bit earlier at face value Nigeria's private sector appears to be debt free but how long is the situation going to last? Okay, well for now, as you rightly mentioned, it's a huge opportunity. Lending in Nigeria is primarily to corporates. However, the opportunity to do retail lending is enormous. And in addition to that, not just banks, but cons consumer retailers moving into retail credit. In terms of the opportunity, yes, initially, it implies that households will become in, uh, indebted, increasingly so. But if you look at the level of indebtedness now, it's very low. In the case of Nigeria, uh, uh, probably in the single digits as a percent of the uh, percent of total households in the case of Nigeria, you compare it to 80% um, in, in South Africa in terms of uh, uh, debt to sh uh, disposable income. So the scope is significant for credit growth in the retail sector, which would of course push up consumer spending. In terms of what it means, eventually what well, happens in cycles, by that I mean uh, the increasing uh, indebtedness of households. Right now we're seeing the United States is deleveraging. Uh, however, at this point in time, we see it as an opportunity for Nigeria, given the low level of uh, indebtedness. And uh, according to your report, about three quarters of Nigerians are very optimistic about the future of Nigeria. Nigeria, what macroeconomic factors are going to be driving this optimism? Well, firstly, strong growth. I mean, we've got Nigeria growing at 7 to 8 percent despite its enormous constraint. Power, as I mentioned, is one of the biggest concerns households face. Uh, if you look at the amount of power that's available in Nigeria, it's about 4,000 megawatts for a population of 160 million. You compare it to 40,000 megawatts in South Africa for a population, that's one quarter of that. So the need is significant. Now imagine uh, if these plans that the current or the new government has in place to increase generation as well as transmission uh, results in the realization of a significant uh, or a significant in increase in uh, electricity generation, the potential for the economy to grow at a faster rate is significant. So that's just one macro uh, factor uh, or a driver of growth that we expect going forward. Uh, if you look at the per capita growth rate or per capita income, it's increased almost fourfold in the past 10 years. We're looking at around $1,500 per capita, and that's still increasing. We're expecting that to increase by $1,000 over the next five years. So the potential, the opportunity that the middle class themselves are seeing going forward is significant. Now, sticking with growth, um, the Nigeria's growth has averaged about 8.6% over two, the year 2000 until 2001. The IMF still assumes a modest slowdown towards 6% of growth by uh, 2015 to 2016. But, but RENCAP is of a different view, really seeing growth at double digits for that period. Why is that? Well, we've seen an acceleration of growth as uh, potential. Uh, we're not looking at a six. Our medium-term projections are around seven to eight percent. But uh, keeping, uh, if indeed uh, we're assuming that these plans for power come through, we expect that to accelerate, move closer to ten percent over the next five years. And also keep in mind that growth in Nigeria is driven by the non-oil sector. We're seeing tremendous uh, growth in the commerce sector, that's wholesale and retail trade, which also is a reflection of consumer demand. That's another sector where we saw opportunity as a result of this survey was the consumer sector. Uh, the commerce sector in itself is growing at 10 percent, telecommunication growing at 30 percent. This is These are real growth numbers. So the momentum is still there of penetration rate of around 53 percent in the telecommunication market. There's still room for further expansion. So we're very bullish Nigeria.